What's up guys and welcome to today's episode. We have got a pretty special episode of the 7 Minute Squad series. We're going to be using the legend George Best. Of course, you guys know he's a right winger, right forward, right midfielder uh, on this game. So, yeah, we're going to be using him in a right forward slash right wing. We're not going to use any other right midfield formations because it's just going to waste using this card. And we don't use this card very often. It cost me 1.7 mil. I definitely got a fresh one because obviously there's no stats that have been played or scored. Um... And he's got four star weak four star skill moves if you guys didn't know. But the main thing is I'm so excited to go ahead and use this guy. He looks absolutely incredible. So we're going to go ahead and move into the store now and try and pick ourselves up a second player. If you guys are looking to buy any FIFA 16 Ultimate Team coins, make sure you check out FIFACoinZone.com so that you can afford players like this. And use jack 54 hd at checkout. They're an instant service, guys, so you get your coins in absolutely no time. So, let's go ahead and open. Oh, there's 15k packs. That's very tempting indeed. But we're going to go ahead and open um, these 7.5s and see what there is about. Right, okay, okay. If that's Urkin, I'm using him straight away. Okay, it is. So, we're going to use Urkin pretty much because... Um, that's, that's that's a decent player. He plays for Fernabache. There's a lot of good links now for Fernabache. So, um, yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be good. And I'm just going to see how long these 15k packs are out for. 9 hours and 35 minutes. Okay, so I can probably do a video on them. <laughs> I probably can. Right. Uh, we're going to go through the formations now. Let's have a little look. 3, 2, 1, stop. We have just got the 4 3, three formation. That is absolutely class. Um, that is exactly what I wanted. So, let's go left back, try and find the Urkin. And place them in the team. I don't actually think I could have got a better formation, um, if I'm honest. So, there we go. George Best and Urkin in the same team. We're going to start the timer now. The timer is going to start in 3, 2, 1. There we go. The timer has started. Okay. Obviously, the Legends League doesn't count as a league, guys. So, um, bear that in mind when I'm going through the players, etc. Because um, I know you guys like to kind of make your own squads as well during this time. Um, so, we're going to go into the Super League first, uh, which is pretty much the Turkish First League, and have a look at some Fernabache first team, well, Fernabache players that can play at centre mid. Um, so, let's have a little look. Okay, so there's Diego. Diego's obviously a good shout. Um, I don't think putting Van Persie in a centre mid position would do us any favours, so I think I'll pass on that. Um... Oh, there was there was actually a guy that looked half decent there. There was someone that looked half decent there, but Diego is kind of like staring me in the face and saying, Jack, pick me up. You know what I mean? <laughs> pick me up. So, um, or, okay, there's actually a lot of, there's quite a few decent ones, I'm not going to lie. Uh, it's whether we want to go a bit, of, a bit more defensive or whether we want to go ahead and be a bit more attacking. Could even get Real Morales, you never know. Um, I'm thinking... We should try and take a gamble and go ahead and pick up Diego. Because he seems like a great player. I've loved using him on previous FIFAs. And I'm sure he's going to do well for me today. Um, so, yeah, we're going to go ahead and take the plunge and use him at centre mid. Probably not his most favoured position. But hopefully it's going to be a position where he does a, does a good job for me. And then, of course, left wing. I think it's pretty obvious who we're going to be going ahead and buying. Uh, because we want a five-star skiller in our team, of course. Let me just check what other players there are in the in the Turkish league that play in the left wing position. So there's okay. So literally, Nani is the only one that I'd actually want to go ahead and buy anyway. And I've only looked at what like one page, but yeah, look. Um, so there we go. That's the left-hand side of the team. It's quite Fenerbahce-ish, <laughs> uh, if that makes any sense at all. But. Um, yeah, it should do the job. It should do the job that I'm asking it. Right, okay, there we go. Left wing nanny. Boom. That is our first player in the team. Now we, we've literally got... We can do anything we want. We really can do anything we want. Um, I'm thinking... Ooh, this is where it could get a little bit tricky. I've got to be a bit on my guard, if I'm honest. <laughs> um, okay, 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 okay. Right. Let me think. Let me think, let me think, let me think. I quite fancy trying to fit nine Golan in this team somehow. Um, and I think the way that I'm going to have to do that is if we go now into the Syria. Syria. Let me just see what strikers there are for Roma. Um, I know obviously the likes of uh, well, Zeko. Um, 
Doombi has come back offline, hasn't he? So we can't use him. That's a little bit annoying. That's very annoying, actually. Incredibly annoying. We've got Totti. But Totti just would not be would not be a great player. Um, hmm. That's a little bit... That's quite frustrating. That's very frustrating. Um, oh, God. Right, okay. We've got three minutes and 30 whatever seconds left. I'm just going to search centre mids and see if there's any that take my fancy and then we can start building it around them. I mean, Pjanic would be class um, because of the links that he has. But it's just not very inventive, is it? It's not very inventive at all. Um, dun, 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 Jack, you've got to make a decision ASAP. You've got to make a decision ASAP. So... The player we're going to be going ahead and using for the centre mid spot is going to be... We're going to try Zeko, okay? Well, obviously, okay. So we're going to go ahead and use uh, Nine Golan and then go ahead and get Zeko up top. Because I just want to try. I want to try something different. Um, I think it's so easy in the seven minutes series to go ahead and literally just take the easy route. Um, and I want to try and make this a little bit harder for me. Um, so we're going to go centre mid, nine golden, up top we've got Ellen Zeko. I don't know if I already have him in my, in my team or anything. Um, right, we've got 2 minutes and 32 seconds left, we need to get a move on here. Need to get a move on. Uh, so Zeko, wow, 950 coins. I'm sure he's going to be better than that worth, that 950 coin price tag. I'm sure he's going to be. Uh, right, we're going to have to place him on the transfer list because we already have him in the club. Now, we need some centre mids from some different leagues. Well, we want, we want a Belgium centre mid from a different league, uh, preferably not the Barclays Premier League, but I know it's just going to end up me going back in there, Witzel would be decent, uh, yeah, we're going to use Witzel because that means we can go ahead and move into the Russian league, and if I just buy, if I actually just go ahead and buy a Zenit St. Petersburg right back, then we've got that kind of, that area sorted, um, okay, so right back, let's go Russian league, Zenit, see what we've got here. Have we got any good ones? I believe we do. Yes, there's a... Uh, wow, I'm not going to try and pronounce that guy's name, but I believe he had a Team of the Season card, which is probably why he's got a nice, hefty upgrade, and I already have in my club anyway. Um, but yeah, that's a very, very solid t card. That's kind of like the Danilo card, apart from the shooting is 63. Um, so he, he just kind of needed that to be at least um, 60. Kind of, I mean, at least 70, and then he would have been absolutely sorted. Right, okay. Okay, there we go. Um, let's go ahead and put the centre mids in. Where are you, mate? Where are you? Nine Golan. And then from the next centre mid, we have got uh, Vitzel. Lovely stuff. Up top, we have got the man himself, Eddie Nazeko. Come on. There you are. Now we seem to think about the centre backs, don't I? I mean, we could Belgium it up again and go into the Boxes Premier League. We're going to have to Belgium it up again and go into the Boxes Premier League because. That's literally the only op option we have. <laughs> that is the only option we have. So, uh, Barclays Premier League, Belgium. Uh, we can go ahead and buy... Should we buy Order Wield? Yeah, we'll, we'll buy Order Wield. And then also uh, Company as well. Okay, so add them both to our transfer targets. And then I believe after that we can go ahead and buy any goalkeeper from the Barclays Premier League. So, we're going to buy one that isn't playing for... Um, either of those teams, we can go ahead and pick up. Who do we want? Who do we want? Uh, maybe Begovic. Okay, why not? We're going to go ahead and use Tim Howard. There we go. Add to transfer targets. Boom. And that is the team done. I'll be back with you guys in a second once I get the team in the starting 11. So that is the finished team. As you can see in goal, we've got Tim Howard. Yes, I know you could have improved it by getting a better goalkeeper, but we didn't have the time. The two centre backs, we've got Alderweireld and also Company. Right back, we have got the Zenit St. Petersburg guy. Left back, Erkin. Three centre mids, we've got Diego, Nine Golan, and Witzel. I believe every single one of these guys has forced our skill moves, apart from Nine Golan, who's actually been downgraded, I believe. Um, let me know if that's true or untrue. Uh, right wing, we have got George Best, the man that we've got this time around. Striker, Edin Zeko, and then left wing, we have got Nanny. So, we're going to go ahead and dive into a match now. Hopefully this team can play well. Let's do this. Here we go then. This is, oh my god, our opponent. Uh, he's got a 5-2-2-1 sweaty Barclays Premier League team. To be fair to him, he's actually got some very, very good players in there. So, he obviously knows what he's doing. He's got Oscar and Firmino in the middle. Sanchez, William on the, on the wide outside. 
Brian and the new left back for Chelsea as a, full, as a wing back. This is going to be very difficult indeed. He's got Otamendi and Koscielny and someone else in the centre back roles. Yeah, Remy up top. This could be very, very dangerous indeed, especially against the five of the back team with Ellen Zeckel up top. I know we have George Best, but sometimes having the best players in the team, so like the little pun, <laughs> uh, it doesn't even work sometimes. So, yeah, we've just got to take that into consideration. Right then, let's get a good start. Let's try and get a little goal straight away. Go on, go on, Nanny. Oh my god, referee, seriously? Seriously? Go on, we've got the ball again. Can best do it again? Oh my god, that was such a good strike. Such a good strike. Oh, wait, Nanny's just completely mugged him off going. Oh, and that's that shot. Ball roll. Bang it! Go on! It's another goal! Nine Golan has got on the score sheet. What a finish. Pretty much replicated George Best's one. Um, wow, what a goal. Did not expect to be 2 0 up at this stage, especially against a five at the back, sweaty box Premier League team. That doesn't happen very often. Go on. Oh, he's done them. Smash that. Oh, honestly, I've got to say, George Best is by far the best legend that I've used so far. Um, I actually want to keep him in my team. Whether I can afford to keep him and still do all these seven minute squad builders is another matter, but um, yeah, he's absolutely insane at the moment. Get there again. Get the cross in. Zeko. Oh my god, that was terrible. That was so bad. Don't know about you guys, but this year, crosses seem absolutely awful. Like, so bad. Um, so, I wonder if there's going to be a patch to kind of update them because. It's, they seem very, very bad, like much worse than usual. What we've done, get the crossing now. That's a foul, surely. Best has absolutely done him up and he's just decided to take him out. Right, well, that is the half-time whistle. We're going to go ahead and have a look at the half-time stats. And I've absolutely destroyed this guy. 10 shots, 7 on target, 51% possession, 8% pass accuracy. Honestly, this guy has had absolutely no chance whatsoever. So hopefully we can keep that up. I want to get George Best on the, on the score sheet again. It'd be nice if we could grab him a hat trick, but you never know how well this guy's going to come out um, at half time. Well, after half time. So yeah. Go on. That was some nice play already. We managed to get ourselves a corner. Come on. Get there. No. No. We can't concede the goal now. What defending by Can? I think that was Erkin. I believe that must be his first name and he's got that on the back of his shirt. Yes, Howard again. Beasting it up. Look at flipping Zeko doing the doggies. Look at that. He's a flipping tank. Oh, here we go. Here we go. This guy's getting a bit aggy now, I think. Oh, no. He's cut us down. Oh, best. Best. Bottom left. Oh, my. This guy is absolutely ridiculous. He is so good. He's absolutely unbelievable. I actually can't believe it. Look at that. Little roulette. Does the defender. Company sliding in. But he still managed to pick out the top left-hand corner. George Best. Can we get him a hat-trick now? Can we get him a hat-trick? This is why Eden Zeko is good, by the way, as well. He's strong on the ball. I know he doesn't have much pace. But he could actually be one of the better strikers that you can get for 950 Coins. I know you can get probably like Cameron Jerome, but for a different type of striker, he's actually very, very good indeed. Right, Best, he wants that hat trick. Is he, it's got to go in. It's going to go in. Best has got the hat trick. Absolutely incredible scenes here. What, what a player. Honestly, what a player. If you guys have the coins to pick him up, or if you've got him in a pack and you're incredibly lucky, keep hold of him. Don't sell him. He's unbelievable. He can win you games. Just like today, I believe I probably would have won the match if I didn't have him in the team. But he wins you games. There's no two ways about it. He's absolutely incredible. Um, I can't speak highly enough of him. I genuine, genuinely can't. Go then, guys. That is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, then please be sure to smash a like. That'd be absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, I can't believe it. Best has just been absolutely outstanding. Um, honestly, he's absolutely insane. Eight shots, three goals. He's going to be a player which I, I want to keep for, for a very, very long time. He's that good. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.
Jack 54, yeah, he got the dope fits. Yeah. Football tricks, giving lessons to the kids. Uh -huh. Seven minute squad, so you know what it is. Be fun, it's the game, and this channel is the shit. Hey. In the UK, but this channel's worldwide, and he knows how to make the best teams of all time. Yep. If you didn't know what you're doing with your life, when I'm done with this rhyme, go ahead and subscribe.